Okay, so this is what I'm planning to do. In my website here, I'm planning to put a logo carousel where I can display all the logos of different companies. I would recommend uh, this plugin, which is the, the Kiwi. This is actually a Kiwi logo carousel. Um, it has a very cool uh, carousel format and the interface is really very nice. So I would highly recommend this one. So what we do is to we just download the plugin. Now after that, uh, I'll go to my dashboard in my WordPress backend and I will go to the plugins and I will add new plugin. I will click on that. And now we need to upload the plugin that we just recently downloaded. We choose file and I remember that I placed that on the desktop so I I will find for the plugin. Here it is. I'll click on that. Kiwi logo carousel. So and I'll install that one. Now it says plugin installed successfully. And uh, what I will do now is to click activate plugin so that we can uh, you know get started with uh, the plugin. We can start using it. So I'll I I just hit uh, activate plugin. All right, it says plugin activated. Yeah, if we go to our dashboard and you will notice that there is now additional menu on our uh, on the left panel. Uh, it says logos. Okay, so we can click on that. This is where we will put all the images. We'll click add new. Okay, so we'll be adding our first logo. I'll put it a name and then I'll set the image. So I'll upload. So I have all the logos here. Just copy and upload them all. Okay, so here's the PayPal. I'll add that at the fit as the featured image. And if I wanted to, you know, uh, have a link. I'll put that link in here. So that would be like uh, paypal.com um, So that's it. You publish it. And after that is published, you add another logo. I'll just post the video for a while after I added all the logos in here. Okay, so that is. I have just added added uh, the last set of logo. So uh, now it's time for us to integrate, and I'll just hit manage. Okay, so you can just uh, go over all the settings here, and you can set that to your heart's content. But the implementation here, it will just use a short code, or you can use a PHP and embed it in your theme, but I have Optimized Press. I'm using Optimized Press because I just simply love it. So I'll be adding that here in the front end of my website. So this is my website now. So I'll be putting that somewhere here. Okay. So. It's very easy to do in Optimize Press. So what I need to do is just to add a new row. Put it in the row so that it will cover the whole width. See? So this is where we put the logo carousel on the full width. We added another element. We, we add another row and we put a text or a headline element. And we'll put it like this headline. And I'll just type in technologies. Small. So I'll put and maybe just make it bold. 
and we'll make it a little bigger, like 35 in. We'll make it bold. This is how easy to do it in Optimize Press. So if you want Optimize Press, just hit that affiliate link at the bottom of this video, and I will highly appreciate that. And you will appreciate that too when you, you know, give get your hand on Optimize Press. So look at look how beautiful and easy it is and I will just reload reload this page and look at that whoa technologies we can integrate for you now as you can see here we have this beautiful integration nice that's all guys thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe and give it a, give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you don't please don't <laughs> don't do anything please now i'm just kidding thank you very much and until next time bye bye